In part one of this gun trust video series, I talked about the risks associated with owning firearms. And then in part two, I talked about how a gun trust works with NFA firearms. Now, in this part three, I explain how a gun trust works with non-NFA firearms. So let's talk about gun trust and non-NFA firearms. Again, non-NFA are the most common type of firearms. Handguns and long barrel rifles and shotguns are examples of non-NFA firearms. So the question is, does a gun trust help ensure the safe ownership and transfer of these types of firearms? The answer is absolutely. Did you know that if you let someone use your handgun at the range, or let's say your rifle while hunting, and they're careless with it, and they cause injury to someone, or worse, you're potentially liable under state law. It's called negligent entrustment of a firearm. With a properly drafted gun trust using our proprietary gun dock system, you're shielded from liability. And then what about when you die? Are there family members who you want to pass your firearms collection down to? Do you consider your firearms to be family heirlooms? Well, did you know that there are certain people who are legally prohibited from owning firearms of any type? They are called prohibited persons under the gun laws. They include people convicted of a crime carrying a prison sentence of one year or more and a felony or misdemeanor crime of domestic violence or child abuse. This category includes dishonorably discharged veterans. It also includes someone who has had an adjudication withheld for a felony committed as a juvenile and they haven't turned age 24 yet. How about this one? People on probation, including for a misdemeanor or even a DUI. Or better yet, it includes someone who's a user of controlled substances, let's say such as marijuana, which is illegal under federal law. So again, although marijuana may be legal in some states, it's still illegal under federal law. Wow, what a trap. Now, do you think it's possible that a family heir might be a prohibited person at the time of your death? And even if they're not so today, might they become one in the future? Is it possible that your child, your grandchild, your nephew will get a DUI or use marijuana in the future? If so, will they know that they're not allowed to take your handgun or your rifle through your estate? Will your executor, who might be your spouse, who may not be a gun enthusiast, will he or she know how the gun laws work? Probably not. Will your spouse's executor mistakenly transfer the handgun or the rifle to a prohibited heir, causing a felony to occur? The risk is too high. So ask yourself, is it fair to put your loved ones in this position of possibly committing a felony? I think not. A gun trust solves these problems for your handguns, rifles, and shotguns. With a gun trust, you can hold as many firearms as you have. Only one trust is needed, and you can add new firearms to the trust each time you buy one. You can also add new people to the trust who can use the firearms. And just as fast and easy as you can add someone, you can remove them if they get into trouble. A gun trust also ensures that the probate process is avoided when you die, so no need for the probate court to get involved with your gun collection. It's private and passes directly to your heirs. And a gun trust also protects your firearms if, say, you become incapacitated, think dementia or Alzheimer's, or perhaps incapacity caused by an accident. The trust continues on, no need for a court to get involved and to know what firearms you own. A gun trust using our proprietary gun dock system is the way to go. But again, it's not any trust. It's not the standard living trust used in basic estate planning. In fact, that kind of trust not only will not work, but probably cause an accidental felony to occur. A gun trust is unique. It's specific to gun ownership. It complies with all of the gun laws. It's easy to create and maintain. It is what we call an ironclad solution. We have a color-coded trust system for our clients based on their particular needs, a bronze, a silver, and a gold trust. So stay safe, stay secure, 
and stay within the law. Don't take a chance. The penalty is too great. I invite you to sit down with me so I can explain to you how gun trust works.